they might gain the number one seed instead of the Jayhawks. So settle back in, everybody. We're about to begin a huge crowd, 19,000 on hand, and we'll take it home. The Jayhawks with the game's first possession here. And Bob Taylor back in the starting lineup. Well, what does he give them instead of Johnson? Well, I think he gives them a little bit better offense than Johnson does. And he is every bit as strong and quick. And there's Morris with that turnaround shot right off the bat inside. They didn't get help into him quick enough. That's just how you drew it up. He was positioned far enough off the baseline that he could have turned in that direction. They had great spacing on that play. And now Hamilton comes back and misses the Horns first shot. One thing about Taylor, he's very quick. And he traveled. Turns it over. Uh, that, that first bucket uh, that Kansas just scored was a little juke to the middle and then a good spin to the baseline. And as we were talking, he had plenty of room to do it. Hamilton is being defended. And he steps back outside his ball bag. Joseph, Joseph nails a three ball to put the horns out on top. That was not a hurried shot by Joseph. He was very calm coming across the top of the key and going up with that. Now they got help in there. And that's the thing that can really be a great asset to Kansas. Or a problem for Kansas, rather, when they have to play against that help on the inside post. And that time Reed misfired on the on the three coach and Tristan Thompson you can see Marcus muscling as far as he can away from the basket and that's Johnson I should say let me correct myself and here comes Reed down on the left side on a floater tap back and Marcus Morris with an outstanding athletic move on a tap back you know he just busted his tail going down the floor too brent he really went hard from defense to offense a lot of postmen would have never gotten there to get that tip in and markeith is trying to seal up tristan thompson on the other side johnson misses and markeith rotates back no chance for an offensive rebound that time. They kept Thompson far away from the glass. They've gone to Johnson both times inside. Now there they get a little position on, and he is so good. He is so good, Markeith, going to his left shoulder on that baseline. Again, they left him alone with one defender. So Markeith now with four. And his brother with the other two. So the Morrises start out blazing hot. And here comes Hamilton down the baseline. And a foul is going to be called. Okay, let's let's take a look at the defense on Marquis. See how high the defensive man is? Look at that open area right to his left shoulder. And he is very good with that move. Morningstar picks up his first personal of the game. Got morning star on Hamilton. And back with his second three of the night is Joseph, the freshman from Canada. Marcus now spins baseline. The lethal down low. Again, uh, very, very good. Little head and shoulder fake to the inside, spin to the baseline. But again, he has room to go to the baseline. Those guys set up extremely well in the post along the baseline. Morning star in Hamilton's face, and he misses. Texas thrown up a lot of threes already, although they hit two of them. A deep three from Martin up over the top. It'll be Longhorn basketball. All right, we, we looked at Markeith in the post. Now we're going to look at Mark. Fake back to the middle right there. Good turnaround. Defensive man there. Joseph had to get back in on him and make him throw the ball back out. You can't give him that kind of time and room inside. Either one of them you can't. Ball Bay brings it down, and here is Joseph, and Taylor tightens up on him. Now they're able to front the postman there uh, from Marcus because Johnson is not going to be a threat to shoot it from outside. Or if he is, he's going to have to hit one pretty soon. Robinson had checked and he takes him and one. 
And Thompson, one of the fine freshmen in the country, has scored his first field goal and drawn the foul on Robinson. All right, we're going to see Thompson with the ball on the dribble, and he picks it up and is able to get up over top of the defender. Had he tried to keep going, he's going to almost be out of bounds or be under the bucket where he doesn't have nearly the good look at it. And he adds the free throw, and that could be big for him. If he struggles in any part of his game, Kristen, it's at the free throw line. He knocks the first one down. Matt Hill will check in for his first rotation. Tristan stays on the floor, and Johnson is out for Coach Barnes right now. Texas up by one. Morningstar rotates the baseline, and here's Tyrell Reed's three. It's big. Knocks it down. He hit two huge ones against Colorado yesterday. Kansas does a really good job of getting their shooters, either Morningstar or Reed, set up with Tristan. a long pass for the shot. Tristan muscled and didn't finish, but you could see how strong he is. Thought he was caught between a, a shot off the glass and a dunk and didn't do either one. A three ball for Marcus Morris. They've got great range. That's the other thing about the two brothers. So that's, Just as you pointed out, they can step out. That's that high-low situation. Now Thompson, I think, in frustration, came up with a foul right here. Just shoved uh, Robinson, I think, out of position. We got a timeout. Marcus Morris leading the way, and the Jayhawks are ahead 14-9. And Tristan Thompson, the Jayhawks, wanted an intentional foul here, Bob. Almost an intentional foul. He's trying to get position there, but now he starts to use his forearm and his elbow to knock Robinson away from him. Jerry Pollard makes a really good call on the baseline, and that eliminates a lot of problems when you make that call right off the bat. But as you could see, Self, he wanted the intentional, which of course would have resulted in technical free throws. And you could see he was signaling the referee, not in angry fashion. By the way, you mentioned Pollard, Mark Whitehead, our head official. This is his fourth Big 12 title game. John Higgins has worked five. And Pollard, this is his first championship game. So a great honor for these fellows. Taylor, the three ball after the timeout. Jayhawks build a big lead. Matt Hill left open the free throw line. Can't make it. Robinson clears. Marcus brings Tristan Thompson far away from the basket when he steps away. A blocked shot going out of bounds. Tristan to save it, and he does. Taylor hit that shot, and he just got a little bit greedy there. There wasn't any sense in him driving into all that traffic. There's nothing for him. Now let's see if the Horns can end this 9-0 Jayhawk run here to start the game and put them up 17-9. They're sloughing on Matt Hill. Jay Lucas off the bench, drains one, and that ends the run. And there's Pops John Lucas watching here. Didn't get the memo that he should be wearing burnt orange, but in all fairness, he went to barrel leather. That's 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 red. So it's okay, John. You get a pass. They're gonna work off that ball screen a little bit. And now this is where Morris's are very good. He missed that one, but they give something to the high ball screen that a lot of teams don't because they can shoot the ball when they step away from the screen. Morning star hounding Hamilton here. Pretty good in the early going, don't you think, Coach? Yes, I do. Having said that, he put him on a run that time. But what happened? Reed did not move to help. If Reed would have just slid into Hamilton's path, he's got to kick the ball out to Lucas. But Reed just kind of watched him and patted him on the butt as he went by. Morning star kicked this one back outside. Now he'll feed down in the block, and it's Robinson coming inside Hill with that quickness. He just dashed past him. And, and again, he had room to make that move. You've got to take that baseline away from him and force him back into help, and there's got to be help waiting there. Reed will take it in run. Oh, 
Well, Texas surges and Kansas comes right back. What a great basketball game this is shaping up to be. Hamilton back and he knocks it down for the horns. Morningstar's turn. He got the bounce. Morningstar really got out of position that time on Hamilton. He came up above him, trying maybe to get an interception that didn't come about. Left Hamilton all alone. Hamilton will not hesitate to shoot now that he's made a couple. Joseph will bring it back out here, Bob. They've got to get Thompson inside. They've got to get him the ball a little bit. Joseph on a drive. Robinson defensive rebound. Taylor's got speed. And he wraps it in. That's